Parachuting, including also skydiving, is a method of transience from a high point in the atmosphere to the surface of Earth with the aid of gravity, involving the control of speed during the descent using a parachute or parachutes. For human skydiving, it may involve a phase of more or less free falling which is a period when the parachute has not yet been deployed and the body gradually accelerates to terminal velocity. For cargo parachuting, the parachute descent may begin immediately, such as a parachute airdrop in the lower atmosphere of Earth, or be significantly delayed, such as in a planetary atmosphere where an object is descending under parachute following atmospheric entry from space and may begin only after the hypersonic entry phase and initial deceleration that occurs due to friction with the thin upper atmosphere. The first parachute jump in history was made by André Jacques Garnerin, the inventor of the parachute. On the 22nd of October 1797, Garnerin tested his contraption by leaping from a hydrogen balloon 3,200 feet above Paris. Garnerin's parachute bore little resemblance to today's parachutes. However, as it was not packed into any sort of container and did not feature a ripcord, the first intentional free fall jump with a ripcord operated deployment was not made until over a century later by Leslie Irwin in 1919, while Georgia Broadwick made an earlier free fall in 1914 when her static line became entangled with her jump aircraft's tail assembly. Her free fall descent was not planned. Broadwalk cut her static line and deployed her parachute manually, only as a means of freeing herself from the aircraft to which she had become entangled. The military developed parachuting as a way to save aircrew from emergencies aboard balloons and aircraft in flight, and later, as a way of delivering soldiers to the battlefield. Competitions date back to the 1930s and it became an international sport in 1952. In World War II, thousands of combatants across the globe experienced exiting an aircraft and parachuting to the ground, either as a paratrooper dropped into combat or as flight crew escaping a crippled aircraft. Some servicemen discovered that it was enjoyable, and after the war ended kept jumping. The National Parachute Jumpers and Riggers was born in 1947. This group would later become the Parachute Club of America, and finally its current iteration, the USPA. Parachuting as a sport had begun to permeate the international community. In the 1970s, sports skydiving became very popular thanks to a quick-release system of the main parachute based on the three rings or rings, designed by engineer Bill Booth, that allowed anyone to use it. In 2021 a supersonic parachute was deployed to land a payload on Mars. Parachuting is performed as a recreational activity and a competitive sport. It's widely considered an extreme sport due to the risks involved. In 2018, there were 3.3 million jumps in the US. Modern militaries utilize parachuting for the deployment of airborne forces and supplies. Special operations forces commonly employ parachuting, especially free-fall parachuting, as a method of insertion. Occasionally, forest firefighters, known as smoke jumpers in the United States, use parachuting as a means of rapidly inserting themselves near forest fires in especially remote or otherwise inaccessible areas. Manually exiting an aircraft and parachuting to safety has been widely used by aviators and passengers to escape an aircraft that could not otherwise land safely. While this method of escape is relatively rare in modern times, it was occasionally used in World War I by German military aviators and utilized extensively throughout the air wars of World War II. In modern times, the most common means of escape from an aircraft in distress is via an ejection seat. Said system is usually operated by the pilot aircrew member, or passenger by engaging an activation device manually. In most designs, this will lead to the seat being propelled out of and away from the aircraft, carrying the occupant with it, by means of either an explosive charge or a rocket propulsion system. Once clear of the aircraft, the ejection seat will deploy a parachute, although some older models entrusted this step to manual activation by the seat's occupant. In the US during the 1970s, the sport averaged 42.5 fatalities annually. 
In the 1980s, the average dropped to 34.1. And in the 1990s, the average decreased to 32.3 deaths per year. Between 2000 and 2009, the average dropped to 25.8 and over the 8 years after 2009, the annual average declined to 22.4 fatalities. In 2017, members of one organization, the United States Parachute Association reported 2,585 skydiving injuries sufficiently severe to require resort to a medical care facility. In the US and in most of the Western world, skydivers are required to wear two parachutes. The reserve parachute must be periodically inspected and repacked that opens the reserve parish.